almost 9 a.m. on Sunday, March 19th, and Dev and I are in the car. We just pulled up at ThriftCon ATL, and what is this, babe? Shit look like club chocolate. Damn, it look like people camped out here. Anyway, we've been up since 7 this morning, but I couldn't even come on here What's and talk to y'all. Is that two lines? Till I at least smelled some coffee. Yeah, I just wanted to come on here and do a little intro. Hopefully they let me film or hopefully they don't say anything about me filming inside of here. Basically, it's just like a big thrift expo. So yeah, let's go inside. Not on one, Chevy Drive, look alive, look alive Niggas came up on this side, now they on the other side Oh well, fuck them dawg, we gon' see how hard they ride I get racks to go outside, and I spit it with the cops We up on the other side, niggas actin' like we tied I been gone since like July, niggas actin' like I died They won't be expecting shit when Cap will go to side Cause I told them that we put that shit behind us, but I lied, Hey. Hey, look who I'm around, man. If I fucked up, I'm a beat downtown, man. Folk flow down, man. So how does this work? I've never been to ThriftCon before. Essentially what you're doing is there's like over 200 different grades of a lot of vintage vendors, but it's like a little mix of everything. Quite literally, you just walk around, go to every booth, and uh, everyone sells different stuff, different niches. You mind if I film your booth? So what's your name? What's your niece? My name is Gerardo. I run Resilient. Uh, essentially my niche is I like selling vintage but more focusing on the essential side of things. So you'll find racks of t-shirts, polos, uh, there's thermals over here. I got knit sweaters, sweatshirts. So you can build like that. You can build a whole outfit in my business. Yes. That's essentially why I'm going for. I'm feeling the Nike sock. Like look at this y'all. It's I mean all I see is like a white chunky sneaker <laughs> with a new Nike sock. So essential. how much are these going for right now? Uh, I'm asking one for 10 and then I have a deal. If you buy three, it's only 25. 25. Well, thank you for saying something to the vlog. I appreciate it. They won't be expecting shit when Cap will go to side Cause I told him that we put that shit behind us But I... I dabble in a lot of different everything, women's clothing, streetwear, anything you need, 90s, 70s, 80s, you know, just give you a blast for the past, you know, try to get somebody faster for less. I tell people, if you can't express yourself through words, you express yourself through fashion. So what I'm wearing is some vintage football, and then my homie, uh, Gen Z Outfitters from Huntsville, he made his Hello Kitty pants for me. I got a whole stack of them. So a real retro VTG right there, straight out of Birmingham, Alabama, but I ship. Everything I post like daily, so. Okay, so you don't have to necessarily catch you like at ThriftCon. We can uh, order online. I do everything. I do mystery boxes, anything you need. I'm your man. All right, perfect. Thank you. Appreciate it. So I'm here with, tell me what's your name? Uh, Cello with Hot Toddy Vintage. Cello with Hot, to Hot Toddy yeah, Vintage? Hot Toddy Vintage. I just bought some fire Nike dunks from him. I'll show you guys when I do the haul when I get home. But um, I just want to introduce you to my new friend here and let him tell you a little bit about his booth. I've been doing this for about seven years now. And it all started with just the passion for like the nostalgic aspect of everything. Like when it comes to like my favorite being the anime t-shirts, seeing that as a child, you know? Yeah. And me being 33 years old now. Yeah. To find something that's from your past, you know, just that nostalgic feeling that you get from it. What's your favorite anime? Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball all Z, day. classic. All Look, day. you didn't even try to make it too hard. If it's one thing that this experience has taught me is that I am not an innovator. I gotta step my innovation up. Oh my God. 
Guys, let me just start off by saying it was kind of overwhelming. I was telling Devin, I'm like, this is like the farmer's market for clothes. I am trying to find my personal style. Since having my kids, I've been doing a lot of like shopping within my closet so i've ordered a few things online but i can't say that i'm in love with the fast fashion because once you get it home or once it's delivered to your spot it ends up not necessarily being the quality that you're looking for but once i wash it in the washing machine i probably can't wear it anymore so that's the only thing um i think that i'm just gonna have to kind of find the quality stores if you guys have any suggestions of where I can shop. I am going to brunch and I'm sitting here rambling on with y'all like I don't have somewhere to be. Starting off small, the first piece is this scarf. Oh, it looks so nice on camera. We've been watching a lot of like fashion forward men and women on YouTube lately and stuff like this is kind of the vibe. Urban streetwear, elevating it with different accessories. So I'm excited to see what he does with this. The quality of these t-shirts is so nice. They're just like so thick. Like you can tell that they were not cheaply made. This one is the Goonies. I like a cute little screen t-shirt that he got. This is a Disney tee. I love the tie-dye. I think it's cute. He got these ball shorts. They look like a um, cherry blossom kind of print and they are Nike. I talked him into this. He could definitely see the vision when I was telling him like, you know, what I was seeing with it. This black denim sleeveless shirt. It's not really a vest, but it can be worn like a vest. It's got the distressed hem where the sleeves would go. I probably could wear this too. This Tigger bomber jacket, is that not so cool? And then it has Tigger on the front. And then last thing for Dev is, this is probably my favorite as far as what he purchased for himself. Really good quality denim. This type of denim is so hard to find and if you do find it in store or online for a guy, probably $200 or in that ballpark. And it is Levi's. Let's get into what I got, we're gonna start with the not so thrifted stuff. 80 to 90% of all the items in there were pre-worn or pre-loved, but there were some items in there that had never been worn. And so we'll start with those items and I'm gonna get right into these Nike Dunks. Guys, these are so, I had to get these. The nude is driving me wild. I'm definitely like a heels, sandals, boot kind of girl, but it's always nice to have a good sneaker in your closet that you can throw on and switch it up every now and then. They're just perfect. I might wear these to brunch today because I'm that country, so. Another not so thrifted item would be these screen tees. Sade, if you don't know who this is, you can't see it with me the red lip really got us and the second one is just the cover art for the life of pablo um i just like the colors in it i like kanye so obviously this was a win on the shirt these are new i don't think these have ever been worn now let's get into the actual thrifted items for me i'm not a sports girl like i know nothing about sports i like to be in the atmosphere of, of the fans but I don't know nothing about nothing but this is um Kevin Durant's rookie jersey when my husband saw this he was like they don't have this in my size but I'm definitely gonna get it for you you're not gonna see anybody else with it it's a conversation piece and I'm just gonna live vicariously through you and get it for you I also got some 
denim shorts they are by the london jean going back to me finding my personal style after becoming a mother i like to show a little skin still like to have that sex appeal when i dress but just in a different kind of way i just kind of want it to be a little bit more elevated a little bit more mature than how i used to dress um so when i'm shopping for shorts i really try to stray away from the super duper daisy duke kind of shorts and these are exactly like what i'm typically looking for the last thing that i got for myself is this really cute dress it's almost kind of like a geisha kind of theme and it has the structured neck and it also is like a wrap I love the silhouette. I am going to have this dry cleaned and altered to fit me like tailored. I think it is very versatile. This dress is probably, aside from the dunks, my favorite purchase that I made for myself while we were there. Like, I kept like picking it up and putting it down and picking it up and putting it down. And I was like, why would I leave this? Um, but anyway, that's everything for the haul. Let me go in my bathroom real quick and try to pull myself together. I'm just going to put on a little bit of makeup and probably change my shirt to something a little bit more girly and brunchy. And then we're going to go to brunch. Yeah, it'll take me around 20 minutes to get there, so I need to hurry up.